McGonagall and I'm fighting out Titan Force Gym. I'm fighting the main event and for the lightweight Killigan Bell. Yeah, I feel good to fight for the title, I feel ready and uh, yeah, it's been a long time coming I think that I'm finally getting a belt. My name is Helias Jerun and my, uh, my team is Evolution Punk Ross. It's a stand and fight event. That's where I feel most comfortable, so well, hopefully that's what he does. I prefer uh, stand up, but I'm good at the ground. Yeah, I'm absolutely thrilled. It's five rounds. I, uh, like I said, I'll do better the further the fight goes on. I think if he goes past the third round, I've been training to do five rounds since I, since I started professional MMA, so I feel good in the in the late rounds. Don't have any any predictions for the fight. I'm going there. And I'm sure, I'm sure we're back when it comes to swinging at each other. And uh, we'll see how it goes. I see my fighter and uh, my fighter is a good punch. But uh, not a good uh, grab. I want to thank Go Resource, my sponsors. Thanks to them and the boys at Down at Titan Forge, always. Thanks to them. Okay. Thank you, Kilakam. Thank you, my, my team. Thank you, Marseille. Thank you, London. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event for the Killer Cup Lightweight Title. Five rounds of five minutes duration. Introducing, in the blue corner, standing at five foot ten, with a record of four wins and two losses. All the way from Paris in France, Niels Giroud! And his opponent in the red corner. He stands at five foot eight. He has a record of five wins and three losses. Representing Titan Forge Jim. This is it. This is for the Killer Cam belt. Lightweight belt. Five rounds. Five round title fight. Ben McGonagall versus Lil Jeroon. Here we go. Who's taking the belt home? We're about to find out, Mark. Both men look very big for the weight class as well. I'm wondering if the weight cuts affected either one of them. The French fighter, the taller of the two. Here we go, let's get underway. KFN7 Invictus title fight. Lil Jeroon, Ben McGonagall, touch gloves, here we are. Nice leg kick to open up. Early lead leg kick. Very nice stand up there from the French fighter. Very loose with the stand up. Ben Straight in. for a takedown. Maybe the hair helped him escape from the, uh, the guillotine there. Now this is a ferocious pace. Very strong in the clinch, McGonagall here. McGonagall pushing up against the cage. Lils is a Muay Thai fighter, so he will be comfortable on his feet. Oh, very relaxed. Just gave him a shave of the high kick there. Took the hair straight off his chin. He's very relaxed with his stand up, isn't he? Very loose, throwing multiple techniques. Very nice takedown there. Oh, McGonagall excellent reversal. Back up. McGonagall landing some knees. Pushing him up against the cage. French fighter turning away. Lil Jeroen keeps looking to that snap down guillotine. Hands are held high. McGonagall looking for an opening. Nice head kept from Yelez. He's chopping down that lead leg. A lot of feints. He's really putting in some damage with them leg kicks now. I like what he's doing there. He's going to take that spring away, especially looking for the takedowns. Right in front of us. McGonagall pushing him up against the cage. He just can't hold him there, can he? Nice left hand there. Oh, he looks for that high kick again. He must have no fear at all being off his back if he's throwing these kicks so freely. 
Nice deep kick. Taking the wind out of Eels here. Chopping away at the legs of McGonagall. Nice straight left. Nice left hand of his own from Ben. Checked. Looking for the fly knee. He caught him on the way in. Did he catch him? McGonagall he with a tie plum. He certainly catched him as he come up. Looking for the takedown. Aggressive. Very aggressive from the French. Head in the chest. Hands behind the knees and he gets the takedown. Let's see what Ben's got off his back. Now, Yell is actually a Muay Thai fighter, so let's see how comfortable he is in the guard. Who is actively seeking them neck takedowns, Mark? It's true, it's true. He, he must be uh, an all-round guy. He's predicted a KO in round three tonight. Round three, very specific. Not really doing much, though, with his takedown. Keeping that head up, making sure he's in no trouble, just landing some small shots. Very measured here. What would you do to get up from here, Mark, if you was Ben? Well, if I was Ben, I'd be trying to get a hand on the map, get my back on the cage and wall walk, get up. Because obviously, Yields is very comfortable here. And ben, Ben's not really doing much of his back here. He's not, he's not attacking for submissions. He's kind of just holding on to him. Staying safe, really. He's generating a lot of power with these short shots as well. A lot of power. Nice elbow there. Looking to posture up, raining down some blows. Ben needs to be more active with his back here. Start making Yilis think about the defense side of things, not just attacking. Well, he's letting him settle. He's letting him settle. And the ref has stood him up. Here we go. A little bit of damage on the face of McGonagall. Goes nice straight in for the kick. Nils is very comfortable here. McGonagall's cut open. I think he's bleeding from his nose, I can't really see. Yil is really aggressive for this takedown. I'd have thought he'd be looking to stand up. Oh, nice big knee. knee. But Did nice right him? hand from McGonagall. Beautiful takedown. Beautiful and a reversal. reversal there from Ben. Has he recovered? Ben nice looks very shot. fresh. Ben looks very fresh. Ben letting him up. Allowing Wants him up. Wants this fight to stand up. I'm not sure if that's the right thing to do there. I think he should have followed him down, worked on the own ground a pound, scored some points. Nils looks very tired. He looks fatigued right now. 10 seconds. Tough round to score there, Mark. Very tough round indeed. Possibly to the French fighter there. Great fight. Good round there. Excellent round. Quite Ben's even. McGonagall's corner was him to get his head moving and be on his toes. Nice and light. I will tell you what Lil's corner said, but my French is quite bad. <laughs> nice touch of gloves there. Let's see how, uh, nice how tired Lil's is. Beautiful take duck under take down there. Into the full guard. Let's see if Ben is active off his back. Double wrist control. Let's kick him away, looking for the armbar. Spinning under. Ben looking for a knee boss. But Put on the hip Frank straight Gilles up. Slip straight out of it. Nice knee there. Nice jab. Nice jab there. That's Stiff jab from McGonagall. He needs to establish, establish himself in the stand up. McGonagall nice looks very there. fresh. Beautiful takedown there by the French fighter. McGonagall looks very fresh. He's obviously in great condition. Picking away from the bottom. You can do damage from the bottom. Shots coming from the top here from Lils. Nice get up there from Ben. But Yilez straight in with the pressure. Nice knee. 
Another nice knee. Looking to land that Muay Thai knee. McGonagall is tough, smiling straight back at him. Both these men are in for a war right now. Nobody's backing down. I'd like to see some feints from McGonagall. And he's picked that single leg beautifully. Really nice. I'd like to see a bit more. Will a bit more from Ben on the ground. Will McGonagall more spin. active, start controlling the wrists. Start walking his legs up. Looking to attack for triangles, arm bars. Yellow's just got a warning from the referee. Tell him to stay a bit active. He's just getting his head in the neck. Nice elbow there. Ben. Remember, Mark, it's a five-round fight. There's a lot to go. Another big elbow there. Oh, Beautiful dear Lord. Now these, these can end the fight. Ben is doing a much better job of controlling, controlling those wrists and, and keeping Yellow's close to him. Another nice elbow. He shrimped out. Back to full guard. Yellow's yeah, got the, the elbow. Here Another we go. Nice he is scoring with these elbows. Ben needs to do something here. He's overhooked. We're going to go look into his corner for advice. Just needs to be a bit more active with his hips, walk his legs up. Just start attacking him, just start threatening. But he's obviously very comfortable here. That's the problem though, Mark. He shouldn't be comfortable here. He needs to get up, he needs to start fighting. That's a good job by the referee, I think. It looks like your wish got granted, Saxon. That my wish did come true. Here we go, McGonagall straight back on him. Immediately, not let, giving him any time to rest. Big hooks. Oh, uppercut. He's dropped. McGonagall looking for that knee. Beautiful take Incredible. Down. Nice, sweet. Looking to side control. Can he establish the position? He's looking to step over for the crucifix. Well, he's just going to be very happy here. He's obviously tired. And he's had success from the top already with the elbows. He's right in his own corner there. He needs to do a little bit more. He's already had one warning from the referee for more action. McGonagall working to get up. Nicely done there by Ben. Constantly pushing forward, Ben McGonagall. Nice combination. Relentless. Beautiful job. He's taking it back. But Yulez ducks under, comes back with his own. Nice kick there. Yulez is tired. Well, it was a body shot. McGonagall needs to pressure here. McGonagall looks the pressure of the men with a big well under his eye. Those elbows did damage. McGonagall managed to stuff that takedown. Nice shot to the, the solar plexus there with the Muay Thai knee. Nice knee to the body. Clearly very comfortable on the clip, which here yells. Nice leg kick, nice left hand, nice body shot. Did he catch him though on the way out? Oh. Really working the body here. I think Ulysses is hurt. Well, he, he's seen that he's tired and he's, he's just trying to suck that life force out of him with a few body shots. Really accentuate that. Yellows is just surviving here. This fight is over. End oh. of the round. End of the round. Incredible finish. Yellows just survived that round, I think, Mark. Absolutely incredible. Great heart. I'm just worried about Ben swelling here. Some intensity from the French corner there, really, really trying to fire their fighter up. He's Lils. tired, he can barely stand up. Lils looks tired here. He has caused a lot of damage to McGonagall though. Some big swing under the eye. I think if McGonagall really pressures here and puts it on him. He's going to have to dig deep. McGonagall, McGonagall definitely looks like the fresher of two fighters. Straight to the body. Nice combination there for McGonagall. This man is oh, relentless. McGonagall man. has a gas tank that is endless. This isn't your ordinary fighter. This is a warrior right here. 
Gilles is just taking those leg kicks. You know what? I'm not sure if he's got the energy to even check him at the moment. Damn. Big body shot. I'd like McGonagall to really put it on now. Really pressure him. Just, just land some nice combinations. Seems like Yiles is just looking for that one punch. Nice left hand there by Yiles. He's going to be relying solely on his striking technique now. With the quickness gone, nice the explosivity gone, technique is the only thing he has right now. McGonagall. Oh. He's like a zombie, just keeps coming forward. Nice left hand there. Nice right hand. See, the whole time Ben's not put, putting pressure on Yulez, he's, he's recovering. He's giving him that time to get, a, to get a breath, that's for sure. He needs to really dig deep and push it. He could finish this fight. Both men standing centre trade in here. I wonder if Yelez is going to look for the, uh, the takedown as before. He had a lot nice of success move. in that top position. And we're here in the clinch. He's had nice some success. Oh, he spun beautifully. Oh, oh slip. It's a slip. Let's him up, gentlemanly. Absolutely incredible fight here for the lightweight title. This is a war. The crowd are going crazy. <laughs> Giving it everything they got. Both landing at the same time there. These guys are just both standing and just swinging. This is pure heart on display right here, Saxon. Damn. Big uppercuts. Where is he finding this energy? <laughs> this is crazy. McGonagall still coming forward, still picking away. Crowd yeah. cheering on for Ben. Fully packed here at the Winter Gardens. Everyone's absolutely in awe of this incredible fight. Yulez is pushing forward, he's coming back. Yulez is room with a he's second win. Nicely tied up there by Ben. Quite a lot of blood now from the nose. Nice jab. Yiles is just pushing forward like a zombie. Ben is an animal. Whew. Absolutely nice incredible. Combination. He's shot. He's gone down. Can he maintain position there, both Back up. Now that's a lot of energy expended there. A lot of energy. Crowd are really trying to get behind their fighter. Trying to urge him on. Yelez is almost using the cage as a prop. Uh, nice combination. Oh, he's unloading. Oh. What incredible timing on that double leg. Can he maintain the position? He's had success here before with the elbows. Let's see what Yil Jeroen can do. That takedown might have saved him. A lot of blood coming from Ben's nose now. This is a real war. Yulez is busting up quite nicely with his elbows. Referee asking for some more action. Is this what he'll be looking for? Will he be looking to land those elbows again? Has he got anything in the gas tank to do it? I'd like to see McGonagall throw up something here. Oh, the ref stands him up. Nice decision there, I think, from the ref. Yiles can barely get up. Barely get up. If McGonagall grits this... Working the body. Bites down his gum shoe and just lands some nice punches. He can win this fight. Where is he getting this energy from? Nice elbow. McGonagall landing here. Knee. Yiles come back. back. And wow. the end of the round, incredible fight. KFN 7.
Oh, oh. Go on, Yields, touch gloves. See how much they've recovered in this time. Both just swinging oh, out. He's ben landed McGonagall. Here. Beautiful combination there. Elbow, body, body, head. Oh, it's a ref. Yeles needs to do something here. Yeles needs to fire him. back. Oh, oh you incredible. Wow. This is an amazing fight right here. McGonagall is relentless. Can we say fight there, like Mark Fenlon? You know what? I'd love to say that. <laughs> The crowd again cheering on their fight. Everyone at the Winter Gardens. Gardens here cannot believe what they're seeing. They are on their feet. Yo's showing some damage on his face now. Has he got anything left in him though? McGonagall looks fresher. Neither one of these men are going anywhere. Ooh. Oh, he's landed. Nice teeth. Teeth kick. McGon I up. don't know. What McGonagall needs to swarm again here. You can finish the fight. The referee's having a good hard look at this now. Can Yields fire back? Yields is just covering up now. McGonagall is it's just a punching bag. He is That's out it. on his feet. Wow. What an incredible title fight. The new lightweight champion, Ben McGonagall. That really was incredible, Mark Fennon. I'm glad I got to share that moment wow. with you. Looking forward to going home and going to bed, to be honest. That was one hell of a co main event right there. Well, main event. That was amazing. How does it feel to be the champion right now? I feel it's fantastic. I've always wanted one of these around my waist, so now I've got one. And I couldn't have got it at a better show, to be honest. Well, it's an incredible fight. I mean, how did you keep coming forward? There was, it was insane, like a second wind or something. Well,. I say my main strength is my cardio. I was actually planning to take it into the later rounds, so I knew I'd be strong in the fourth and fifth round, so that's what I was planning. Is that something you train for a lot? Is your conditioning a big thing for you? Yeah, absolutely. Conditioning and punching, that's all I do, really. Well, Ben, that was incredible. We're all amazed here. You had everyone on their feet. We're really proud to say that you're the champion right now. It's incredible. Is there any shout outs? Absolutely. I want to say thank you to Go Resource. John and Ruth, my sponsors, thanks to them. I want to say thanks to Paul Burfoot, who let me train in his villa in Italy, a bit of high altitude training. That really helped towards this victory. And uh, the boys at the Forge, I'd be nothing about them. So thanks to them and my family, of course. Ladies and gentlemen, Ben McGonagall, your new lightweight champion! <laughs> <laughs>